Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I'm going to show you how to make some more crafts in your doll crafts kit, if any of you have it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the tissue box that is in your kit, and this one is absolutely adorable. Um, you'll find this little thing, and you're going to punch it out and fold it all up, and... Fold it together just like I showed you with the gift boxes. No gluing needed. So fold it all together and then stick in your little flap. And you see this little circle, punch out that little circle. And then you're going to take a real regular Kleenex and you're going to cut a square about three inches by three inches. Um, and then you take and crumple it up and stick it in the top and your doll has the most adorable tissue box of any other doll in town. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to make these weird, they call them beauty boxes and I think that they're probably the weirdest looking things I've ever seen because I was trying forever to figure out how to do that thing, but finally figured it out, I think. Okay, so punch it out, and it looks really weird. It looks really like this, and I think, I'm pretty sure that there's three of them. There might be four, but you're going to take and glue just this little flap first. And glue it to the other end of the box. Okay. And then the directions say I think you fold this flap in and then these two and then you like fold these in like that. I don't even know. Okay, let's see here. I wonder if you whatever. We'll go back to the bottom. For now, the top, you're going to cut out, you have three little shapes to go along with this little, with this box. And you're going to take and put glue on this, perp, on this little top flap right here. I love how everything I say is little, because it is. But I don't think I need to point that out quite as much. Okay, so then you take your flower or whatever color you're doing and you're going to try to center this on there. And glue it down. And let's see if we can figure out the bottom. Okay, what we're going to do, if I do this wrong, I will um, update you in a different video or later in this one and tell you I did it wrong. I'm going to put glue right here and glue it down. And then I'm going to put glue the same place on the other side and glue it down. And then what you're, in theory, what you're supposed to do is take this third flap and or fourth flap technically and like fold them in and tuck them under but we're going to modify that because I just don't really care to open it I just want it to be closed okay if you figured this out a different way that's awesome but the directions were pretty unclear for this box. So, I'm just going to glue that to that. Push them down in there. And so, I have got a box like that. So, 
maybe that's what they meant in the instructions, and if they did, I have no idea why they made all those little pieces, but oh well. Okay. So next, we are going to make the picture frames. And these are going to be so cute. So, what you have is two little things uh, in your kit that are picture frames. And you're going to punch out, punch it out from the paper and then punch out the middle that says picture frame. And then go through your American Girl catalog, whichever one you want, and find a picture that's small enough to make a suitable picture for your doll. I chose to remember Samantha and Nellie in an old catalog. So what I did was I took the picture frame, the part that we cut out, and I went and put it right where I wanted it, and then I took a pencil and I traced around it so that you have a little rectangle around it and I use a pencil so that I could uh, see if I wanted it if like I got it off center which I did and I had to erase it and restart it so you're gonna cut that out and I apologize if I cut anyone on the other side cut it a little bit longer or I mean a little bit wider than you color than you did around the pencil so that you don't show that the edges don't show and if you need to trim it up you can all right I just wanted to get it out of the book now just trim it up and then you're going to take this that you've already folded in half and line it up in there so it's going to look like that when you're done. So take some of your glue and I'm just going to put glue like right around that little edge just enough to glue down the picture a little bit. Definitely do not put glue on this little flap because that's what's going to make your picture stand up. Okay. Let me make sure I've got it even before I push it down. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So we're going to push down the picture and then you're going to take your glue and put glue along these four edges. Oh, I'm getting glue on the floor. Clean up the edges before you stick it down in case you got any on the edge. Um, now, press your picture down. I mean the frame down on the picture. And glue them down on there. And in order for this to get to dry completely flat, uh, maybe put it under a book. Um, that might be the best for it and if you got it what's really weird about these picture frames is that like the right here where you fold does not have a fold line like a it doesn't have a pre-folded line you have to fold it yourself so it's kind of hard to get it completely centered so if you got a little bit off on your folding like I did just go ahead and trim it up whenever it's dry